Hey everyone, Justin Smith there, scouting and recruiting analyst for Touchdown Alabama. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on Touchdown Alabama's YouTube channel. Of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Be notified when we drop content on our YouTube channel. Today, I'm continuing our series where we spotlight and highlight Crimson Tide targets, commits, and signees and break down their film, react to it, and just take a look at some of the things that they were able to do throughout their high school careers. And today, we're going to take a look at the Crimson Tide 20. 2022 defensive back signee Jake Pope out of Bruford High School in Bruford, Georgia. He was one of the top defensive back prospects in the 2022 recruiting class coming out of Bruford um, last year. Of course, the tie signed him along with a few other defensive backs. So we're going to take a look at some of the exciting plays that Jake Pope was able to make throughout his high school career at Bruford High School. I'm really excited to, to react and break down his film because I was a huge fan of what he was able to do during his junior season season just the excitement that he was able to show and I'm going to be able to show some of those plays also some plays from his senior season as well so we have John Ivory running the film of course John Ivory is our producer here at Touchdown Alabama you can get everything rolling now John we see what Jake Pope was able to do at Proof High School is going to return the punt get around the corner so some elusiveness great block <laughs> you know great block a great blocking down the field Nice way to navigate through the through the traffic, but those were some great blocks as Jake Pope was able to turn that punt. It's gonna be at safety. Jumps the route. It's gonna return. Looks like he's gonna return this for an interception. Pick six. Showing off that speed that he has. I actually like that play. He can go back to that last play, John. Uh, if you, if you got, I think it cuts really quickly. But you can see that Jake Pope can see where that see, can feel and see where that play was going. I don't think the wide receiver is even expecting the football. So you see him having great feel on that play. When you look at that play, the wide receiver is going on the field. He doesn't even turn around. Jake Pope jumps the route again, catches the football, runs it in for a score. Great play, great IQ. It's gonna be a wide receiver. He plays on both sides of football. Brute High School at a wide receiver. Miscommunication on the defense side of football. No one is there. Anybody could have caught it. Basically, he's gonna be a wide receiver again. I think he's running a post route. What a catch! Yo, that, that would have been on Sports Center. We got we got to run that. We got to run that play again too. How did he catch it? I, I'm not sure how he caught it. I don't know if he caught it behind the guy's back or like he caught it and pulled it in. It doesn't give us the best angle. It might have been a one-handed. It might have been a one-handed catch. He might have, yeah, John, he might have came over to the left side. But what a great catch. What a great catch. Going to be a defensive back. Climbing the ladder. Jumping up out of nowhere. Closer to the line of scrimmage. Showing off his, showing off a nice vertical. I really like this, really like this kid's vertical instability to high point the football. I think that is something that's really impressive. When you take a look at his game as well. It's going to be a wide receiver great route he, he's a decent route runner as well but, he's, but he's, he is going to be a defensive back at the next level but as a wide receiver he has some decent route running ability he's gonna come downhill here take a great angle great angle great closing speed defensive back once again back pedaling out route comes out here to make the tackle it's, this is great. I'm, I'm head down, but she's gonna show off that great vertical high pointing the football once again. So, like I said, I really like this kid's vertical his ability to high point the football, make plays in the air on the football. Great ball skills, which has translated over from his ability to play on the offensive side of football and make plays on defense as well. It's gonna look as if he's gonna make another play as a returner in terms of special teams. He's gonna be on kick return. Yeah, great speed, elusive. Of course, Alabama is not going to use him as an offensive player, but they could use him as a returner if they need him there. He looks as if he's comfortable there, can make plays there with this elusiveness in the open field. Yeah, wasn't able to beat the look as if he wasn't able to beat the kicker as wide receiver once again. Another great route. Yo, this kid, could, this kid really could be a wide receiver at the next level if the Crimson Tide just wanted to use him there. But he is projected to be a defensive back, most likely a safety. And I think the Tide really like 
really likes his athleticism and what you were able to see throughout his high school career that, that film some of that film was from his junior season some of it was from his senior year as well so his athleticism was one of the things that really stood out to me i really love his vertical his ability to attack the football at its highest point has decent moves and coverage as well so there's a lot to be excited about when it comes to jake pope of course I wouldn't go out and say that he's going to make an immediate impact immediate impact once he gets on campus in a couple of days but i feel he is a prospect who has the potential to love, to develop into a decent defensive back for the crimson todd but that is what i wanted to do on today's video highlight 2022 defensive back jake pope who is set to enroll at alabama during the summer of course him and several other members of the crimson Tide 2022 recruiting class who did not enroll in january as early in role leagues who, who did not get an opportunity to go through spring practice those guys are set to get on campus in the next couple of days they'll have an opportunity to go through the full summer program when it comes to the crimson Tide training in the summer and also go through fall camp in hopes that they can continue to develop their game and possibly make an impact for the Tide in year one but as always thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button hit the subscribe button subscribers hit the notification bell be notified when we drop content on our youtube channel as always i am justin smith the scouting and recruiting analyst for Touchdown Alabama.